Malechela William John. Malechela William John. Eh, anaitwa ni William John Malechela kupitia chama cha mapinduzi na anagombea nafasi hii ya kuingia katika bunge la Afrika ya Mashariki eh, kupitia kundi hili la Tanzania bara wagombea watatu. Lugha ya Kiingereza inaendelea kutumika kwa ni ndiyo lugha inayotumika katika bunge la Afrika Mashariki. Tumsikilize. Uh, Mr. Malechela William John we are giving you <laughs> Mr. Marechela William John, we are giving you three minutes to explain to us as to why you have decided to contest this position. And thereafter, we will ask you three questions. <coughs> Honorable Speaker, Honorable Prime Minister, Honorable Leader of Opposition, Honorable Members of this Parliament, my name is William John Samuel Malechela. I, I feel honored to stand here before you asking for your votes to send me to the East African Legislative Assembly. I have a bachelor degree in political science and I have worked with the United Nations in New York as an intern. I also have worked with the shipping industry in the Europe, Asia, South America, and having this international community experience, I also have exposure with the American Federation, exposure with the North American Free Trade Area, exposure with the European Union, Members of this parliament, I believe that working with the international community, I have acquired international experience to work with the East African Legislative Assembly. Honorable Speaker, I understand that right now we are in the middle of implementing the East African Common Market. And also, technically, we are engaged in the Technically, we are engaged in the negotiation for the common market, for the common currency. All these two challenges bring more issues. The issues of land ownership, the issues of tourism, the issues of free flow of labor. I'm saying this to you that these issues require that we send somebody to the East African legislative body who is bold, who is knowledgeable, who is strong, and who is aggressive. And I want to assure you all, honorable member of this parliament, that if you trust me with your vote, I will never betray your trust. Thank you. Honorable speaker, honorable prime minister, honorable leader of opposition, Honorable member of this parliament, I once again humbly ask you to vote for me. You will never regret for your vote. God bless Tanzania and thank you very much. Honorable Zambi. Thank you so much, Madam Speaker, for giving me this an opportunity to ask uh, Mr. William the following question. From your experience with the European Union and the American Federation, what single lesson have you brought that will help Tanzania as a partner in the East African uh, Legislative Assembly and uh, as well as in the East African common community? Uh, thank you, Member of Parliament. I will answer this question brief and very clear. Uh, the lesson I have learned from American Federation, North American Free Trade Area, the European Union, is that there is one principle, and I was reading the East African book yesterday, there is a one principle which calls for valuable geometry, which is Article 7, is that if, as a nation, if you are not sure with the issue at hand, with the, with the integration, for example, right now we have the issue of one currency. If we are not sure 
of what we want to do, if we are not sure of what to do with this issue, this article allow, allows us as a nation to back off or to pull off from the from the the article allows us to pull back and ask other partner members that you go ahead, we'll back off and think about it and they will come back later. That treaty is found in all integration regions in the world, not only in East Africa. Next question I'm giving to Honorable Said Mbwana Mdogo. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Mr. William, as you remember that we had the former, we had the former East African community with three countries. But now we have got the, the new East African countries with, the five, count, with five countries. Question now. Among the ones who are here, what is, on your opinion, the main difference between the former and the present East African community that we are going to be the legislator? Thank you. Uh, Mr. Thank William, you. Can you answer this? Uh, thank you, Member for the Parliament. Uh, from my experience with the old East African community and the new East African community, the difference is this the former East African community, they were only implementers. The former East African community, the, the Secretariat, used to make decisions and follow the decisions by actions. The new East African community is a facilitator only. The Secretariat makes the decision, and then they ask the partner state to do the work. Thank you, Member of Parliament. Last question will be, even, will, will be asked by Professor Kahigi. Thank you, ma Madam Chair, uh, ma ma Madam Speaker. Uh, I have a simple question for you, uh, Mr. Malachela. Currently, there is a mismatch uh, between uh, the East African community language policy, which favors English as a formal uh, language for the community, and the stated goal of saving the East African people at large. Uh, what, in, what, what, in your opinion, is the way forward on this crucial issue? Uh, I beg your pardon, Mr. Member of Parliament. I'm not sure at the end. I understand where you started, but I can't get it there. Uh, can you repeat your question, please? Okay. In the, in the East African co community, at, at, the, at, the mo at, at the moment, there is a mismatch between the language policy, which favors English, which is spoken by a minority in East Africa, and the stated goal of saving the people of East Africa at large, who do not speak English, at least the majority of them don't speak English. What is your opinion on this issue as a way to, towards solving it? So William, can you answer it? Uh, I hope I understand you clear that your question is this, that there's a problem of language in the East African community. What do I think about it? Is that the question, Mr. Member of Parliament? Thank you. Uh, the language. I mean, in a, I was in the United Nations working as an intern for the, in New York for the UN. Uh, the language can never be a problem when people want to progress as integration and in the regional. The language it can never be a barrier because the Chinese come to the United Nations, they speak Chinese. The French come to the United Nations, they speak French. It has never been a problem, never. Thank you, Mr. Member of Parliament. Thank you very much. This is the last question. I am giving you the last chance to ask votes before you leave. I am giving you the last chance to ask for votes before you leave. Uh, again, thank you, Honorable Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Prime Minister. Thank you, Honorable Leader of Opposition. And thank you, all of you, members of this parliament. Thank you. Now, let me say this, and I'll, as usual, I'll be short and very clear. Uh, East African community is very important for us to be involved. 
because that's the only way we can move forward in this new global market. I have a lot of experience with the United States of America. They were hit with the Great Depression. They didn't know what to do. The only thing which pulled them out from the Depression was the integration of their states. So we need this East African community. But we have to be very careful before we make any moves, especially the two issues of man of currents and the federation. On those two issues, we, be, we need to be very careful. Now, I'm asking you again, member of this parliament, please vote for me. You will never regret for the vote. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, thank you. Can we have, can we have the next candidate? Dr. Mdolwa Edmund Bennett. Nam Sasa ni 